In today's adventure, we'll be learning about some sea animals. The first sea animal we're going to meet is the sea snail. Check out this fun fact. There are thousands of different snail species. Some live in water, and some live on land. Most snails can see, although their vision's not very good. What they do instead is they use their tentacles on their head, just like this little guy is. Land snails have two sets of tentacles, and water snails only have one set of tentacles. Check out this interesting looking snail. Animals that are snail-like, but don't have shells, are called slugs. And depending on the species of snail, they can live between 5 to 25 years. The next sea animal you're going to meet is a seagull. Seagulls are long-winged water birds. There are almost 60 different kinds around the world. Not only do you see seagulls on the coastline areas, but you can see them in marshes, lakes, and even rivers. A seagull's diet usually contains fish or other small animals. But you gotta watch out because sometimes they'll eat your lunch. Check out this weird sea animal. It's called a sea slug. Sea slugs spend a lot of their time sliding on their bellies around their habitat, searching for snacks just like this little guy. Sea slugs only live up to about a year, and they can weigh up to 3.3 pounds. Look at these two. They're just chomping away. And there's over 3,000 species of sea slugs that live around the world. And most of them live in shallow, tropical waters. This next little creature you see here is a crab. Check out this little crab. He's hiding from us. It looks like he's snacking. I wonder when he's chomping on. Crabs are omnivores, and they eat both plant and animal matter. And crabs, they usually live in all types of bodies of water, including oceans, rivers, freshwater, and saltwater lakes. And there are over 6,700 different types of species of crab. The crab that you see here is called a striped shored crab. These little crabs have to watch out for predators such as seagulls, octopus, rats, raccoons, and even man. This next little sea creature is a hermit crab. Check out this little hermit crab. He's popping his head out to say hi. Check out this fun fact. Once this little hermit crab grows too large for its shell, it'll go find another one. Once he finds a new home, he will inspect it for the size, shape, weight, and mobility. The next sea creature we're gonna meet is called a pelican. Do you know pelicans just don't eat fish? They've been seen eating turtles, mammals, insects, and even other birds. And they can have a wingspan that is 10 feet long or more. Pelicans are also known to be one of the heaviest flying birds, and they can weigh up to 20 pounds or more. And some pelicans dive bomb down into the water to catch fish, and the pelican's pouch holds up to three gallons of water. That's pretty cool. This next sea creature we're gonna meet is called a sea enemy. Look, there's a sea enemy. Did you know that there's over a thousand species of sea enemies around the world? Sea enemies are carnivores. And they actually get their nutrition from living things such as fish and crabs. The way the sea enemy catches its prey is it shoots out a stinging tentacle and injects the prey which paralyzes them. Usually sea enemies live in warm shallow waters, but they have found some sea enemies 
living in waters over 30,000 feet below the ocean surface. These sea enemies have adapted to survive in low light, low food sources, and deep oceans. But the majority of sea enemies live much closer to the ocean surface. This next animal we're going to learn about is the snowy egret. Check out this interesting fact. Snowy egrets use their foot to stir up the bottom of the water. This flushes out the prey like fish and crabs, just like this little guy just did. Not only is fish and crabs on their diet, but they enjoy snakes, snails, insects, lizards, frogs, and aquatic vegetation. The last sea animal we're gonna meet is the osprey, also known as the seahawk. Ospreys are also known as the fish hawk because their diet consists mostly of fish. Ospreys always live near bodies of water, such as rivers, seas, lakes, or swamps. The end.